<laughs> Labeled it wrong, I must have. Let me see if this is the other one. It's like the same thing. I guess I didn't do it right. <laughs> Just when I thought Oh, what a good show it. that was, everybody. Thank you for joining. That was our Thank outro. Thank you for joining. We appreciate you. Uh, no, here we go, man. Let's get <laughs> What the hell is going on? Um, let me see if I can find it. Now I gotta find it. Uh, I think it's this one. Nope, I got it mislabeled somewhere. <sighs> Whatever, man. I'm not gonna find it right now. That's how. That's how things are going. Yeah, oh, man. Jess, oh, what up? Oh, Jess is here. You got to try it one more time for she, one she more game. Her... One more game. Yeah, right, get, we got to do. We got. <laughs> I'll put on my phone and I'll mirror it. <laughs> that part. Um, I got to figure out where did I put it. It's in, it's dun, in here. Dun 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 dun. dun. Let me, let's, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I can keep. I can put on my phone and just put my phone up like like, like that. <laughs> can... <laughs> I, where I... did I put it? Oh. Uh-oh. Well, you want to skip it? Nope. Yeah, I'm, nope. I'm, 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 I'm invested now, bro. Like, I, I well, gotta... we, we, we said that we wanted a shorter show tonight. We're already a minute 30 into it. So this is one <laughs> way to do it. <laughs> Where did I do? What did I do? And how did I mess this up so bad? That's the question. Please, somebody tell me. All right, we're going to go with the one that I got in here anyway, and then just let that Here play go. through. Forget it. Okay. All right, guys, let's get that going back to the beginning, then. <laughs> and I'm going to look for it. Way to go. What way to go? Let me see. Is this the one right here though? This is it. The view. This is the dad's point of view. Damn it. As you can see, Jason has three kids. I have two. Together that equals five. And while we, the we moms were gonna are away, it. we keep our kids alive. The plan is is to talk about our family. Why did you tell him what a Melbourne was? And I said, Would you rather me let him keep calling it a wiener wedge? plan is to talk about what we do as stay-at-home fathers. I love to, to do it in front of the girl and then yell ducks. <laughs> Parking <laughs> spiders. The plan is to talk about our life as as we know it right now. I start to feel like I need me time. Where's, where's my me time at? For me, it's brand new. I've been in it for two years. For Chris, he's been doing stay-at-home dad since his children first dropped out the womb. With what I've been through with my kids, they better cure cancer. I just want to make sure I get the right people around my children. Sorry, I know it's a podcast. I shouldn't be using visuals. <sighs> Jeez, welcome to the Rad Bad Stay at Home Dad podcast. This is what exhaustion, mental health, stability, wearing out, the whole kit and caboodle looks like. Week two of disaster intro. I wonder if we could do a third time in a row. Don't blame the producer of the video. <laughs> no, no, definitely wasn't Just the kidding. producer of the video. Just kidding, man. Winter winter is in full effect. Oh, man. What up, though? Um, we just uh, had seen a comment of Jess. Jess is in the building. Great. And thank you for following. Uh, and being a, a dope supporter, uh, make sure you share uh, the live. Uh, make sure that you tap the like button for us so we know who's all here and what's going on again you guys can catch us on all major platforms uh, for podcast purposes we will have um a dumping of the last two to three weeks of um podcast uh that 
we're live. Um, I'm going to get to it. It's been a tough week for me, man, but make sure you tap in on all platforms. There's Apple Podcast, um, Google Podcast, uh, Amazon Podcast, just about any and everywhere you podcast. You can catch our Rad Bad Stay at Home Dad podcast. Guys, I need to tell you something before we start. This has been a tough two weeks, a couple weeks, man. Um, seasonal depression is tapping in. Depression is tapping in. I am not a hundred percent. Um, so pray for me, man. Keep, keep, uh, high hopes for me. Uh, as I, as I seek counseling, man, I'm looking for a BIPOC, um, counselor so I can, you know, definitely tap in and get, get these thoughts in order, man. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too dangerous, but I do have to be uh, conscious and aware of what's going on and me sharing that with you guys out there is to let you know that everyone deals with it. Even the most bubbliest pe of people, uh, deal with some sort of depression. So attack it, talk about it and bring it to the forefront just so you, you know what I'm saying? It can be acknowledged. It ain't something that you only deal with. Everybody has been there. Uh, but with that, man, let's go ahead and hop into this show, man. Chris, how you doing? My, my trusty co-host. Well, I was going to say I'm doing all right, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I guess compared to you, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm in a bit of a winter funk as well right. as I always am. And with my kids being in uh, kindergarten and I'm sorry, first grade and third grade, uh, and it's being cold as can be outside. I, I've, I'm finding myself bored, but also busy. And that gets me frustrated because I'm finding things to do and there's things always to be done. And um, I don't want to do certain things because it's too cold just to run to Home Depot to grab one thing. <laughs> and so um, I'm trying to keep busy. Uh, yesterday, I cleaned out my freaking pantry and I was like 38 cleaning out my pantry on a Wednesday at two o'clock. This is my life type deal. So <laughs> yep, yep. I'm, I'm doing all right. Everyone's finally in our health, in our house. And so um, I appreciate you speaking up a little bit. I, I talked a little bit about it here, but I went through a little bit of depression when my kids were half and, and Sawyer was five. I was sick physically, what got me, which got me sick mentally. And it was tough because um, dealing with the kids all day, it made it harder, but it also kind of made it easier because I had something to do. And it yeah. kept my I kept my mind off it, but at the same point, um, it also kind of drags you down because when they are Margot's age, they are so much work and so much energy, and they don't care. They're gonna jump on you, and they need to eat, they need to get changed, and <laughs> they need to go to sleep. So, um, feel your pain. I, I hopefully when the weather gets better, you kind of come out a little bit. Um, yeah, let your kids keep you busy, man. It's uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> at there least there is, man. At least there was, there was for me. Um, and hopefully you get there too as well. Oh man. I appreciate you about that, man. And thank you for sharing, uh, that. And it's always good to hear other people doing well, because it's like, all right, Jay, you can do this. You can get there. You can feel better. It's going to take some work, but you can do it. And, um, that's where, I, I, I'm sitting at right now. That's where I'm at right now and, and trying to, to gather that because it's like, all right, I can move around. I can do things, but now it's COVID high peaks again and no one wants to do anything or everyone's catching COVID and no one goes out or uh, is doing anything or I, I, I don't want to really go anywhere because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Really bring that back to the fam, all those things. So my little, things to kind of refuel and rejuvenate me are being kind of cut out. So it's a little, it's a little tougher, man. And then um, you're right. So it brings it to that where the kids, it is cold outside. Uh, they do bundle up as much as they can, but they can only, or we can only spend, you know, 45 minutes outside before it's like too dangerous or too cold because now the gloves are falling off. They're playing in the snow and the wind is hitting them. And it's like, okay, we got to come back in, you know? And then at that point, it's like, I've already cleaned this area up. <laughs> and now it's dirty again i've cleaned it up at night and it's dirty again and i did this and it's dirty and i'm like okay am i am i asking for too much from an eight-year-old a four-year-old and a two-year-old like am i asking for too much but i'm tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again you know what i mean 
So, you know, it, it it's, it's, it's working out, man. Jess says, I have PTSD from a previous relationship. Man, it's a struggle, but don't let it run you. You run it. That's what, and I, I've been listening to a lot of motivational things that, that speak to that, where it's like, I am the creator of my emotion. I am the master of my uh, emotions and how I feel and what I, I, I can't let. And I, I tell people to do this. Protect your peace drink water i haven't been drinking enough water i haven't been protecting my peace i haven't been giving myself the the time that i need for me all those type of things um and when i do it's late night and then now i'm i'm embarking on my sleep time and now my i'm I'm getting two three four hours of sleep and i can't run a whole household off of something like that so it's it's been tough yeah you get more sleep and i i i <laughs> I don't know how you, I don't know how you do it. Sometimes you're, you're, you're up pretty late and I'm like, I'll be checking my stuff and I'll see you doing other shows. I'm like, I, I'm tired. I can watch this for, <laughs> for, for a little bit, but I'm going, I'm going to bed. And I, the crazy thing is, you know, I, um, I focus a lot more on health. I always do I mean, year round, but I, I get kind of, I really shut it down in, in January and February and get myself right. in um mentally there and so I, i'm going to bed an hour and a half two hours early and the crazy thing is i'm more tired now than i am when i'm up till 11 30 <laughs> midnight watching football having a couple drinks now it's like i'm going to bed at 10 30 11 i'm drinking herbal tea and i'm waking up at like eight o'clock 8 30 groggy and i, I don't mm, under, I maybe I maybe it. just the, the winter months man and i that could be it what, what helped me uh when i was at my lowest i remember when I was suffering from chronic migraines and I remember sitting on the couch and taking a medication I wish I'd never taken. I didn't realize mm-hmm. it, with, it was an off label uh, migraine blocker, but it's, it was an antidepressant. And I didn't know that when I got on it, I should have done more uh, research. Yeah. But I remember at one point sitting on the couch at a family function and my brother was playing with, with Sawyer. And I'm like, I should get off the couch and play with Sawyer. But like the fact that I had to tell myself that kind of, kind of, that was one of my low points and then yeah. i just then i have i'm gonna kick the medicine and if i get pain I, i'll deal with the pain but i don't like like i want to be in control of how i feel mentally and then i said you know the physical stuff there's only so much i can do but the mentally the mental stuff i'm gonna take control of this and that's when i um that's when i started really working out and any i think any addiction is really bad but i, I became addicted to working out just to, to channel all that Definitely, you know what i mean yeah, yeah. it's it's a goal to make myself sweat every day and it, i mean it, it is good for me it, i mean it it drives my family nuts where we're like at the great wolf lodge and before i get up at nine o'clock to start today i'm working out in in the hotel room and kids right. are jumping jacks kids are, and everything oh yeah. absolutely man and it's right. when i'm at the lake and it's 20 below i'm walking outside to the garage and working out in the garage it's just it's 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 how how I, how I clear my head and how I, I, I uh, um, you know, it takes energy, but then it gives me energy. As weird as that sound, I know and, that feeling. I know and then that when feeling. I eat, when I'm eating and drinking, like shit, it also kind of neutralizes all those <laughs> negative calories, man. But uh, that part. Hey, uh, what up, though, Rashi? I see you in the building, man. Thanks for stopping in. We appreciate you here at uh, Rad Bad Stay at Home Dad Podcast. We're talking about mental health. We're talking about uh, dad roulette. We're going to hop into that real quick. But before we do that, I want to bring up this one, man. And I watch her on TikTok a lot because she gives me <laughs> inspiration to say, all right, shit is okay, especially with what I have going on. And I'm not the only one. So I want to I want to share this with you here. Her name is Emily. And what's so dope is, is that um, she nor- she's like on a like way of it, normalizing life as a stay at home parent. Right. And for her, she's shown like she's like showing her her stuff, like showing what's going on. So I want to I want to share that with you guys. Let me tell tell me what you guys think of this here. Here we go. Let's jump into this uh, video real quick. Actually, let me stop it because I didn't know. It's already good to go. Let's go and check it out. You guys love these. I like to normalize being normal. Life without the filters. Let me walk around my house and make you feel better about yours. Anyone else have furniture that's damaged, but you refuse to buy more because kids ruin everything? (laughs) See all these air bubbles in my dining room table where water has saturated in? I refuse to buy another one, so maybe my kids move out. (laughs) 
I love to utilize all the counter space in my kitchen. I don't like to waste. <laughs> but I am wasting these. These hot cocoa bombs I insisted I needed. I've only had two. <laughs> How long will it be till I eventually just throw them away? <laughs> An empty wine rack. <laughs> That's a problem. 10 a.m. Living room floor check. <laughs> a wreck. <laughs> Look at my end table. <laughs> Energy drinks because I'm so tired and I haven't slept in two days. Love that. Not one, but two empty baby bottles. <laughs> And wow, two bananas, still like half eaten and in their peels. I had one and my toddler insisted on eating mine, even though she'd eaten half of hers. <laughs> but they didn't finish it. <laughs> that part. Ah, someday she gives me the energy and a life to be like, all right, Jay, it's normal. It's okay. Me finding an apple core that's been, you know, petrified because it's been found behind the television. How is it behind the television? I, I don't know. I don't know. You know? So it, it, it kind of just gives me the A-OK to say that. Take a breath. Enjoy what's, been, what's going on. Enjoy the hugs and the kisses and the screams and the screams and the screams and the screams and, the, and, and enjoy the rest of the life, right? And people say one day you'll look back on this and miss those days. And I, I, it's, I, it's, it's, I, I do... In a way, and I, I and I don't. In a way, I I I, think I posted on Facebook the other day of Lil when she was I think one and a half, two, and God, I missed like I missed. I was so like in that mom zone that, that she was just showing, just so locked into like, of just shit everywhere and just exhaustion and the rinse repeat Groundhog days of things that I that that phase of her I, I enjoyed it a lot, but I wish I could have pushed some of that jargon to the side and just lived in the moment because um, there's so much fun at, at that age. Um, but then again, I mean, realistically now, I'm sure in five years, I'm going to look back at me now and be like, why couldn't you just stop harping on that and just enjoy the moment? <laughs> like right. the, the other day when Jack was gone and, you know, um, we talk about this, I don't eat, this time of year, I'm not eating breakfast. So I wait till I work out and then I have my shake and a protein bar most days. And I really, I opened my protein bar. Like, Dad, can I have a buddy your protein bar? And I'm like, you just you had breakfast and lunch today. <laughs> this is this is what I get for the next five hours. So I like, gave her like this little sliver, and she looks at me, and I'm like, "I should." Ah. So I gave her a little more. I go there. Is that good? Is that a good enough bite? Is that for right? you? You, you're eating. You're eating ninety five or like ninety percent of my <laughs> of your of your meal for the next few hours. Man, I promise to you, it it's a joy, but it's a hindrance too, is because. I feel like I, I feed my children enough and they eat well, but it's almost every 45 minutes. Can I have an orange? Can I have a beef stick? Can I have this? Can I have that? And in my mind now, right here in this moment, I'm like, okay, well, I guess they're growing children. They need to eat. That's what it is. I'm already, I've already grown. I don't need to eat like that. I guess they do. So damn it. Cause I can go, like, I'll go today without eating. Just give me a couple good glasses of water and we got this. Yeah. And then I re- and then I realized how cranky I've been the whole time. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, well, let's let, let's reel that back. Well, man, you brought it up and you spoke about it this weekend. You had dad roulette. It was a solo dolo for Chris. Uh, his wife went to Vegas uh, and he had the children all weekend. Now, on our Facebook page at Rad Bad Stay at Home Dad podcast, you are able to see some of the great photos that uh, he had posted on there. One being uh, movie night, which was also the the um, camp night. Um, what it seems like they are able to sleep in the basement watching a movie. How did uh, how did this weekend go? I got sawyered. I got sawyered. What does that mean? <laughs> well, I had dad roulette so- set up so I wouldn't get sawyered, and I still got <laughs> sawyered. <laughs> <laughs> it became sawyer weekend. It, it did not become sorry. It was the point of the roulette was that you throw in what you want and what gets pulled gets pulled there's none i don't want to do this now i don't want this not what it son of a bitch got me um so we they got ah. home from they got home from school and we picked uh names out of the hat or uh first thing was for was meals organizing the meals and uh so we did pancakes and eggs and sausage for dinner that was that and i then, love a good breakfast for dinner my that's my favorite dinner breakfast for dinner ah continue Everybody eats. Like, everybody, everybody in the club everybody. eats when you when you make when you make breakfast for dinner. Everybody eats. And um, yes, it's one of our uh, one of our go tos as well. And then um, it was 
their wind down time and i actually said to them um they wanted to make a fort and i said instead of a fort guys i was gonna say why don't we blow up a mattress and put on a movie and sleep down here and have some popcorn sawyer who doesn't like movies like his eyes lit up and i go you guys want to watch back to the future now and they were so excited so it was great for me because I, I just started to get a head cold and i felt like garbage and then uh so we laid down and Friday night, they stayed up till 10, 15, I think 10 30 Friday night. And nice. they slept, slept on the bed. I woke up, I slept in the guest room. I woke up at two in the morning and I was surprised because Sawyer was next to me and not Lily, Lily myself. And then, uh, Saturday morning, it, as you know, um, the temperature dipped. So it was chilly Saturday morning. And then, um, Lily really wanted to go sledding. Mine was ice fishing or a, mo- or a movie. Sawyer couldn't decide what he wanted to do. And then he just said, I want to go to Sky Zone for my thing. And Lily's like, yeah, let's do Sky Zone. She goes, can we do Sky Zone today? And so I was like, yeah, let's do Sky Zone today. I said, well, we're supposed to do the roulette thing. And 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 that is, so I was like, well, we agreed to do sledding tomorrow. And we and do Russian roulette. Or we do Sky Zone today. He's going to do Russian roulette. <laughs> yeah, right, my bad. That's where my head's at. <laughs> is if we agreed to do uh, Sky Zone today and sledding tomorrow, um, can we do that? And I said, sure. Dad, you th- you think I'd know my my son you more than I you, did, right? You got got. got I on, got where's got. My, my I got got. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna sidebar here. We're at the we're at Sky Zone. You just set the over under at uh, one and a half for the amount of times uh, Chris told another kid to uh, get their ass back in line. <laughs> Parent, <laughs> how many times I said someone else's kid that they can't just go jumping in front? I'm gonna set the over under at one. And a half. One and a half. I'm gonna say good three times, man. You you found Nailed three it. children. Nailed, <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> You out here parenting other Three children. Times. So get, get me lie. <laughs> for is Jess and then or if you're in the building, let me know what you guys think about this. And Jay, what do you think about this? So um they have the, the, these ramps where you have to run and jump and try and climb up to the top, right? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't just stand up for my kids. There's like five or six kids in a line, and these these kids come running in, and they just start jumping on it. And it and they're not they're taking their sweet time playing on it and I'm looking at these kids at line, and I'm like, hell no. So I walked over, and I said, uh, you know, you got to go wait in line. You can't just come in here. And one of the person, one of the kids was oblivious to it. Another girl, like, gives me, like, this look, and she goes to go back and do it again. I said, no, no, there's kids waiting in line. You got to wait your turn. And then she goes running over to her mom and taps her mom, and her mom looks at me. And I'm like, parent your kid. Or that part. I'm not to be a little shit because you, your, kid, your kid's – very special, but so is every other kid here. So is every kid here, right? And, yeah, and so I, I had to tell a couple of kids what time it was. So I'm, am I right or wrong for, for for stepping in? I mean, kids will be kids, but parents need to be parents, in my opinion. Oh, no. You are absolutely right for that. I, I was I'm using buttons today. You are absolutely 100% right for what you did, my friend. I was watching something on one of these platforms and a mother was like, I don't teach my children to say or force them to say thank you or this and that because it does this to them. I go, what? So you expect some child to not to do something that they have no complete idea, know how to do. Like that, that makes no sense to me. So if they feel they have free reign to just run in the front of the line while other children are waiting, and you don't correct that, that they just they just gonna automatically correct that as an adult. No, what? There are parents that say like they're being kids, they'll be kids and they'll figure it out. And I mean, so it's like he's like, uh, what's going on here? I'm like, hell no, you ain't doing that shit. Exactly, <laughs> because some people know order, they know structure. If I'm in line, I wait in line. Nobody goes and just jumps in. You're not gonna figure those type of things out, and you don't want your kid bumping their head that hard. So you teach them the real core basics of respecting everybody. You know, or the structure of the uh, of what's happening in your system right there. No, man, that was exactly right. And if the mother has something to say or came over and said something, I sure hope you put all of the leather shoe inside of that and just told her what the business was. She uh, she she just gave me a look and walked away. That Other part. People, 
Jess says, oh, my God, other people's kids annoy the crap out of me. Right? Why can't they all be as good as ours? <laughs> right, exactly right. She said, you're totally right for what you right. did. Right. Yep. Yeah, no, be, be but you, and, and it's not like you weren't disrespectful. You didn't no, call the no. little kid names or anything. Right. And you just told him, like, hey, hey there's other yo, people in line. Yep. Yeah, 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 that, that, hell no. And, like, all the other kids are like, okay, yes. I <laughs> That's exactly your turn. they know that they're like if they're not going to be told that they're doing something wrong then they're going to continue to do what they do and expect that they were doing it correctly mm -hmm. right so those are the, the type of things if you're doing something that's outside of the norm which is like okay everybody's here unless like so i've done this right you walk up to a line and there's like three people helping you wait on like see if you had to stay fair and there's a concession stand and there's a whole bunch of people in one line and then there's nobody in the next and you see somebody waiting to wait on you. Yeah, I'm not about to step in that line all the way back there. I'm going to come to the one right here that right, no that's one's different. paying attention to. Right. But all these kids are paying attention to exactly what they're supposed to be doing, which is getting on this uh, on this, this game or adventure journey, whatever it may be. And the other ones are just straight skipping in. And, no, yeah, you got to get that correct. Well, the other ones know what's up. And it is also crazy how sometimes like parents like run into you, don't even acknowledge that they ran into you. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, you're chasing the kid. You're cool, but like acknowledge right. it, right? My thing I used to do when I when I was a little bit younger is when I would hold the door open for somebody, if they just kept going and didn't even acknowledge me, I'd just be like, "You're welcome." And just, yes. blatantly, but, blatantly. So anyway, we did. So we did Sky Zone, and then we got home, and then oh, I forgot about this. And uh, lasagna was picked for dinner on Saturday. Saw the picture. The picture's up on our Facebook page. Uh, Rad Bad Stay at Home Dad Podcast. The picture looks amazing. Lil yeah. looks ex excited, beyond excited. The girl loves to be loves to help cook and be included. She's very sweet like that, and she gets a kick out of it. Um, I wish I would have made a video or a TikTok on it and made an ass out of myself because uh, as I was, I wasn't a hundred percent. Don't worry, I was COVID negative and whatever. But I was, uh, I wasn't a hundred percent, and I was tired. I didn't get much sleep the night before. And it's just exhausted. I worked out a hard workout and then I go jump around with kids for two hours. And when I, when I'm at sky zone, I don't, I'm not on the sideline. I'm Lily. So I was playing dodgeball with kids. So Lily and I were having a jump off. And I'm, so I'm like jumping on my back and then like jumping mm. off the wall. I was tired. And so I started making the lasagna. First time I ever made lasagna and Lily just mixing things up and we're throwing all the noodles in and then throw, I throw the, the bake in the, oven i'm like all right i'm gonna kitchen though i'm a shower and then uh you can shower and then we'll have dinner she says okay i'm cleaning it all up all of a sudden i see a bowl of ricotta cheese and egg <laughs> and mix i'm like that's supposed to be in lasagna <laughs> <laughs> so i had to pull the lasagna out and oh, so sweet i was like oh i was like oh shit Lily's like what's wrong like, i forgot the cheese he's like daddy i'll come help you and so then i had to pull out all the noodles like layer by layer and scrape all the sauce off and put the cheese in and she's and Lily's like oh daddy just a mistake and like she, she put, look at her she, she quoted me and she's like but dad what do we do we make a mistake we fix it right I go yes though we fixed it so then we had the lasagna and i was like oh it's such a crisp thing to do <laughs> and so how did it turn out how did the lasagna turn out it was very good it was very very delicious it would it, i did i did leave um italian cheese on the counter overnight that never went into lasagna but there was still plenty of cheese in there to make up for it <laughs> and i really wanted a glass of red wine but uh right. I, I, i'm a, I'm a smoke i'm a smoker and a griller i'm not a baker <laughs> not a baker. I mean, but you're not really. Well, I guess it is still baking. It's, but yeah, I feel you. I feel you. When I think of baking, I think of desserts and and uh, yeah. Now, now desserts are hard to do, man. There's a real science to that. With with cooking, smoking, and the regular cooking, it's trial and error, man. You can add here, you know, switch up a flavor here. But when you do a baking, you, you got to go all the way through the process at the end to find out if it went well. Yep. So that was that was Saturday. It went to bed early Saturday, and then Sunday. Um, it was colder on Sunday, and mm. I was I still wasn't feeling great. I didn't want to go out and go sledding, and I didn't want to go ice. I took I take ice fishing off the table because I'm like I'm not going to set up and do all that work with them when they're gonna when they're gonna last 20 minutes. I said screw that. Right, right, right. And then and then we were talking, and we we've been working on an igloo at our house. I always make a massive igloo, and so I asked them. I and Sawyer really wanted to watch football on Sunday. 
And I say, you guys just want to have a day, just relax at home. We'll go outside. We'll work on the igloo and we'll just stick around the house today. And then tomorrow we can do whatever he wants to do. And Lily said, sure. Yeah, let's go. So we did that Sunday. We took it easy. Monday we woke up and Sawyer was in a mood mm-hmm. and let, it, let everybody know it. Like I, I uh, I so when we're having we're eating food, I always in the morning, and if someone doesn't want music on, I turn music on off. Otherwise, sure. we have it on. So Monday was obviously MLK Day. Yes, sir. Said, oh, okay, guys. So I, I had I had the speech playing. And Sawyer was being a little shit. I don't want to hear this when I'm eating, and I'm like Sawyer. Care <laughs> <laughs> about no rights, <laughs> right? And he goes, no. He goes, but dad, I just want quiet because I'm eating. You said, I'm like, okay, you got a point. Makes right? sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. As soon as he was done with his meal, I'm like, I'm like, well, you want to listen to this now? She says, yeah, dad, let's listen to it. So she, we we watched the speech, and then he's like, oh gosh, you guys are so annoying, and just being a little, being a little shit, and then a little dramatic, being, like, oh yeah, and then he's being mean to Lily, and then being mean to me and being sassy. So then now he's not going to go sledding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you took that off the table. Like, nope, no, 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 no. He didn't want to go sledding now. Oh, that was what, wow. that was what Switch up. Lily wanted to do. Gotcha. And I, I snapped, I go, this is why I did roulette because of you. That because, if it's not what you because if it's not what you want to do, you're going to act like a little brat. You're going to do all this. And we're not going to, Lily's not going to get to do what she wanted to do. She went along happily to go do what you wanted to do she had yes, your sir. meal happily now it's her and he just was combative and then he finally like an hour or two later he snapped out of it because i want to go sledding oh now you do right yeah right. so then we go sledding and i didn't get lily home before midnight because she turned into a pumpkin pumpkin while sledding <laughs> all she wanted to do all weekend was go sledding and after like her 20th turn i heard hurricane lily was coming and she Uh-oh. just oh yeah she lost it Fuse to bring her sled up the hill and snapping at me and tired. I was, I was like, oh. yeah, exactly. Like this is what I get for being a great dad. Like I'm nominated top five dad <laughs> top of the year. Top five dad of the year right here. Right? Yeah, and you your kids are out of the top five for kids of the year. So, anyways, I had a lot of fun with them. Um, that is amazing, was, bro. I, I I really really I took I didn't schedule anything with anybody this weekend. I just wanted time with my kids. One on one, and of course I'm burned out now. But now um, you're burned out, right? It was a lot of fun. I love, I love when I get to put them to bed by myself, and when it's just me. They were very sweet. Oh, I t- uh, oh Sunday night we went out to dinner. I took them. You ever been to Tommy's Malt Shop in uh, Tommy's Malt Shop? Ch- downtown Chaska. No, never even heard of it. Uh, burgers are good. The kids like the, the malt, so I took them there, and um, okay. they both in unison gave me a, a big thank you, Daddy, and big hugs afterwards. So. It was fun. I had my first cheat day since New Year's too. I did have a malt. It was delicious. Hey, there you go. Salute to that. Sometimes that was, you gotta. That's my long, long-winded dad roulette weekend. That was not roulette, and I got. That's why I got Sawyered. He got me to hey, not roulette. It was right. It was, it was a, a little Sawyer shit. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you guys. I love the idea of it, man. If you guys ever get a chance and you're solo parenting and you need a new idea, the dad roulette is a good one. Just pick a bunch of ideas, kind of put it out there. And they pick from a hat, you know, one picks and the other. And it's just like, that's what we all going to go through and go with. So it's a great idea. On uh, Friday, we actually, as a family, went to um, Shoreview Community Center. Uh, and it's Shoreview. So it's, you know, 35, 40 minutes uh, north. It's right by uh, Roseville. And it was amazing. It's a nice little water park. Has a, like, it's, it's like um, an indoor rec center for the most part. They have basketball a little indoor playground for the kids that they can go through tunnels and all that stuff. And then they have this water park that you can go into. And uh, we went there, did the water park. And it, it, I don't know why we didn't expect that it was going to be busy. But when we got in there and we turned the corner and we seen how many people was in that pool, holy buckets. I said, this is a lot of kids, man, a lot of people. But uh, in the end, we end up finding our own little area section of the water and just kind of playing with the children, man. And the, it didn't go any deeper than four and a half feet. And Hazel was able to do her own for a little bit. But to have the children just all hung on, you know, clung to the both of us and we swimming around, Katie and I, and just kind of being a family. And that was like one of our first uh, family outings for the year. But even just in the last probably about five, six months, 
where uh, we all as a family enjoyed each other. And it was kind of cool because the next day or the next morning, Hazel was like, I really had a good time yesterday. So it was very, it was very impactful. Uh, Katie, and I don't know if Katie ever heard that or if, or if she was told that from Hazel or whatnot. Uh, I know I felt to say something now because I'm just not really thinking of it. Um, but it was, it was kind of a whim of a thought for Katie and she found it somewhere and it was a good turnout. I was, I was a little, uh, meh about it just because I've been in that meh mode. Uh, but once I was there in it, got in the pool, all those type of things, things did change a bit, you know, and I was, um, excited that, uh, the girls enjoyed themselves the most, you know, and, and the, the worst part about those type of days though, is, is like the night of when we got to do bath night and get everybody washed. Now I got to wash hair and I got to do all this. And none of them, including myself, wanted to do it because it's three bodies that I'm, you know, rifling through. Uh, and, and it's just a lot of work. So I'm already exhausted. And and having to go through all of that is a, is a, is a doozy. But if anybody is in that area or you want to adventure up that far, uh, definitely go give it a, 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 a try. But you're... You're more closer to uh, Chaska Chenhassen and all that area, right? Shakopee. Yeah. yeah. So Chas- Shakopee has a really good uh, area that's pretty uh, like that as well. Ch- Chaska's got one too. Um, we actually, when they were little, I was a member there for a couple of years with them. And we had it, it was like um, open swim was Monday and Friday. And then Wednesday, they actually had open gym where they had like all these kid toys and stuff and the big climbing right. wall. And so, winters we i would i would go there and like you were saying it was like it was stressful for me to get them in the shower like at the community center get them changed in a shower and then i gotta i gotta change two like yeah. in the shower with two little kids and like we're stopping wet <laughs> 20 20 degrees outside and then um it, i oh, this, i little too much information so i'll skip some swim diaper stories and uh let's <laughs> just say i could tell that um one of the children had corn one of the times there was a nightmare oh, situation geez. i got myself in and it was a lot of work and it was so stressful that part I and then they really nap katie. though <laughs> right exactly What's really now i i salute katie because she actually handled all the girls that's the torment that i i kind of have um seeing that i have all girls and it was mad i was a little sad i couldn't help I know I can bring girls into to the men's room and get them set, but I just like I'd rather just do hey uh Quint, not Quint, but Margo, yeah. because she's not the one that's gonna look around the most and ask the questions, right? Compared to <laughs> Hazel or Quinn that's gonna start asking too many Hazel. questions. Yeah. But it's kind of cool, and I and I didn't see it until last minute. They did have a family one, and we just failed to acknowledge it and go in there. But well, I, I just did ask a question about how I'm much sorry, that would cost, and it was actually pretty inexpensive for a family. Uh, for the family, I think it was forty six dollars for two adults and up to three kids. So a total of uh five people can be in there for a day pass for forty six dollars. And then there was there were there was a separate prices for a la carte, but I can't remember what they were. They don't, I don't think there were no more than like twenty or fifteen bucks a person. But it, if you go as a family, so two adults and up to three children, uh, you'll get it for forty six dollars. Jay, I would I would be in the family restroom and the locker and stuff, and I would get luck, looks from moms like I didn't belong there with my kids because I was a guy because like I was like the only dad there. It's like yo, so I, where are you supposed to go? Exactly. It's like hey man, hey man, I got I got a two year old a two year old girl here and a four year old right. son, and I wanted we're going swimming. I'm not here to like peek in the shower. <laughs> like, not at all. I right. did hear or read um uh, an article where there's a a father that he's a girl dad and he will only use the female's room but he was obviously do it by knocking on the door asking if there was any women in there and then going in but then even then when he's in there and he hears the door open and someone comes in he alerts them right away saying hey girl dad in here you know helping my daughters go to the bathroom so that way everyone knows and there was a lot of great reviews that came with that so i mean i i think at this moment now in, in my life um I'm okay letting Hazel go to the bathroom by herself. I just stand around the bathroom. Yep. Uh, and if I do end up having Hazel and Margo or Quinn with me, then I'm taking, then I'm letting them two go together. But if it's just myself and Quinn, I, I'm a little nervous because here's the thing, man. She isn't old enough to just sit like 
obviously wrap the seat and just sit. She still got to get her hands and get on it and sit now. And I'm like, that right there is absolutely disgusting. I can't let that happen. So we got to figure that part out. I don't, I just don't know how, how secure or comfortable I am being in a woman's room like that. So, you know, family rooms it is right now. Right. I'm glad. Yeah. It's it's interesting. Like when we're at like target or something and, and, uh, Sora and I both have to go like, all right, well, I'm, Come in, but you know, <laughs> it's turn around. In the turn, around. Yeah. <laughs> turn around, stand in the corner, head down. But she's like, she's <laughs> like, um, she's gotten better now, but like, she wouldn't go at school. Like, she wouldn't go when oh, she's wow. in preschool. She would hold it. She wouldn't go in public places because she just, um, grossed out by it and automatic flushing scares her. Um, but uh, she's gotten better now. But, uh, yeah, so it's, it's interesting when you got a, a boy and a girl and you got to right. go too. And <laughs> what are, so what are now guys uh, that's out there that's watching and that's listening to this later. What are some of the tactics that you guys use when you're out and about and uh, your child needs to go to the bathroom and they're, and they're sorry, they're of age, right? They're not of age, but yeah, they're look, later in age, I guess, or, or old enough. They go old enough to do it themselves or not that quite old enough to be by themselves. What are some of the things I don't think it's shone upon for women at all because you know women are normally the ones taking children to the bathroom so they're always whether it's a little boy or a little girl so uh what are you guys doing man man leave us uh leave us a chat on our facebook uh let us know what's going on how that's working and um we get back chris you got anything else man yeah i didn't want to tell you one funny thing that uh sawyer said remember i I was talking last week how uh sawyer's the get out the door get out the door get out the door yes sir (laughs) Sir, sure as shit. Friday morning, he goes to Lily. He goes, Lily, it's three minutes until ten minutes till we have to go. (laughs) So, thirteen minutes. (laughs) We have three minutes before it's ten minutes to leave. That is a time soldier right there. I I don't use to say the old school way, but that is a time soldier. My man is on it. I can't even complain about that, man. That's a good one. All right, guys. That was our show, man. We appreciate you 100%. Again, we're kind of a little short just because, um, you know, we're here. I can. We can. Whatever. Why did I say that? I don't even know, man. Why don't you you play the intro for the outro? (laughs) (laughs) I could do that. Play the intro for the outro. (laughs) what 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 about your Packers? You like them this weekend? Oh man, you already know you, I'm rude for you, you nervous at all against the Niners or you think that they'll handle business? I am. I am. I am nervous. The 49ers have known to destroy us, but they had the only time that they really did that, they had um Colin Kaepernick. I don't think Garoppolo has it in him. I mean he did it once too. Garoppolo has it in him. They might do the switch off between him and Lance. But my problem and my issue is is Debo. I don't know who's going to be able to stop Debo. That guy is insane. Uh, but our, all of our defense is back. Everybody's back. Everyone's looking healthy. Everyone's ready. And and it's gonna and it's and it's Green Bay and it's cold. It's gonna be cold this weekend. I'm talking negative degree weather weather while they play. So that's the advantage. They're coming from the West Coast, San Francisco. They're coming. They might be there now practicing and getting a little bit in, but they're not ready for that bite. That bite's gonna be horrendous. So I'm excited. I'm, I can't wait to watch. This is going to be the first game of the season where I'm wearing all Packers gear. So I got my jersey, my sweater, everything hung up, ready to go. So game day, I'm putting it on and watching. I just want to go back. You said his name wrong. It's Colin Capper Pick. Because <laughs> he threw interceptions. He threw interceptions. My guy Ronnie's watching. He goes, and you're still going to lose. I think it's a, <laughs> stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a it's a interest. It's a tough. I think it's a tough mattress. A mattress. A tough matchup for uh for Green Bay. Yeah. Um, one. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think that is going to be the toughest toughest match out of the out of the whole ordeal. Uh, I am. I mean, I'm excited to see all of all of the playoffs, man. A lot of good teams are in there, and I really, really do hope. And I don't know if it's going to happen, but I really do hope. Um, Tom Brady loses in the first round. That'd be stupendous. I'm uh rooting for Stafford to win it all. I was really that, happy. That's a good. That's a good choice. It's my I mean, preseason. It's my my preseason was uh, Rams over the Bills. So, you did call that. You did call that. Yeah. I remember our first our first talk on this. You said that. Yeah. 
So we'll see. I'm in a playoff league. Sawyer's in the fantasy league too. He's got all Chiefs and all Titans. So he's oh. hoping. Yeah, he's got that. Um, I think it's Stafford, but we'll see. It's it's fun to watch. I got to go to a painting class with my parents and Jackie on Sunday, so I'll miss the first half. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> Enjoy that time, my friend. I, I uh, can already, I can already hear the argument with Sawyer. Like, I don't want to be here either. Damn it! But we <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We, it'll be, it'll be fun. You said that a couple shows back. You said I don't want to be here either. But sometimes we just got to do what we have to do. Right. We watch, we watch plenty of football. We're spoiled. We get taken care of when 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 the women want to do something, and when we're getting together with family. Sometimes you got to do it. That's get it. used get used to it, brother. Because... Get used to it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All yep. right, guys. Hey, I need you guys to remember to do us a favor, man. Continue to be an absolute best because being empowered starts today. We live life. We love unconditionally, and we seek growth. And when we do all three of those, we're in our alpha state. So stay primal and get after it. Lastly, but not least, and this is absolutely important. I'm saying this to myself as well. Protect your peace and drink water. You're we out of here for the night, man. Catch you guys next week. Let's go. Hold on. I got it. Should I do it that way? Which way should I do it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, regular ass out, though. Let's-